to Adam Kay. Lights after the darkness. Locked out for seven months, the West End's reopening, but this time with COVID checks at the door. Are you okay? Just to take your temperature? Perfect. Have you the first night back, a free performance to NHS staff. Perfect. QR code ready? Yeah, I think we're really excited to go back into the theatre. It's been a long time and yeah. we're just looking forward to having some fun again, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's very organised. There's a lot of staff, so it's fantastic. There's more staff than our hospital yeah. out the front. <laughs> this theatre's back thanks to the efforts of one person. So here's the beautiful auditorium. Nika Burns, owner of six West End venues. So how does it feel finally reopening the theatre? <laughs> just feels absolutely fantastic. It's a really exciting and very emotional moment. I mean, it's seven months and a bit, and we only thought it was going to be, you know, two or three weeks at the most, and here we are now. And there's something kind of really symbolic about being allowed to open a theatre again. What's changed? Well, first of all, uh, socially distant seats. I can just about, I'm a very small woman, I can just about get my, my foot on the back of the seat. It's all now ticketless and socially distant. But this isn't just about the safety of the audience. The livelihood of the cast and crew is at play. Something not lost on tonight's performer. It's a huge deal to the industry that it's getting back together because the people you see on stage are just the tiniest, tiniest tip at the top of the iceberg in terms of the huge numbers of stage managers and carpenters and front of house and sound techs and lighting and, and, uh, and now they can get back to work. And I must say that I've had more break a leg text messages tonight than I think I've ever had for any show I've ever done before. Well, break a leg. Thank You've you got so another much. one. <laughs> How does it feel to be back? Amazing, but very surreal after such a long, long time. And how hard has it been not being able to work? Oh, incredible. It's, uh, I think, realistically, one of the darkest, darkest points of my life. Um, seven months is a very, very long time. And also, like, we're one of the lucky ones to be able to come back this early. Uh, the majority of people won't be. For Nika Burns, it was a choice between reopening or redundancies. Instead of keeping closed, we have opened with social distancing and it's going to cost me anyway. I'm going to be running at a loss, but this way I get to save the staff and we get to get the business going and all the cafes and bars. It's that whole sense of helping wake up London. How sustainable is it making a loss? Not for very long. Make sure eyes water a little bit. Yeah. So we're now backstage and there's a whole other level of safety. To be here, you have to have a COVID test. It's strict measures like these that will allow bigger productions like Everybody's Talking About Jamie to return next month. What was it like being back in the theatre? Amazing, loved it. So it much fun. Great. It was amazing. Yeah, I really missed it. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, it yeah, it was so funny. Absolutely. I can't even describe. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was amazing. I, I didn't want it to end. I, I know, we loved it. <laughs> we really it. didn't want it to end. Phew. Uh, real relief and the first of many more performances uh, safely. Most theatres are still dark, but at least now there's a glimmer of light. Rags Martel, ITV News in the West End.